Oh, oh, oh yeah, check that out. Oh, hi, everybody. Hello and welcome uh, to the season finale of Super Art Fight Online. Producer Steve throwing a curveball at us, just throwing us live right then and there. Uh, hope you all are doing well. Hope you all are doing fine. It's Saturday night, December the 5th, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, this is what it's all been building up to, folks. Five shows prior to this one, a round robin tournament. Tonight, we will finally get a victor. But of course, I cannot host this show alone. You saw him just a moment ago. You know him. You love him. He's a year older than he was last time. People at home, people in the chat, let's give some love to my boy Ross Nova. Ross! Hey, Marty. How you doing? Sorry I started the show with, oh, hey, it's me. That's a weird <laughs> thing to say at the beginning of a show. I, I mean, it, it, it's certainly a a, uh, a unique way to start a show, but um, we're we're very very excited, very delighted that that you could join us here. Uh, hope uh, your holidays were good. Hope you enjoyed uh, Turkey Day, however you spent it. Uh, I'm going to just uh, politely uh, say that I hope that you spent it with as few people as possible. Um, but I, I hope it was a good one, and we we thank you for once again allowing us to come into your homes. Ross, how was your holiday? How was my holiday? My holiday was pretty solid. It was, it was good. Got to spend it with, with moms and uh, her little dog, Max, and, um, uh, of, of course, my wife. And, you know, uh, we we cooked. The, the great thing about cooking as though you're having the full meal with everybody is that means leftovers for days. Just doing your food prep so right i look at thanksgiving as basically food prep for two weeks and uh it's been it's been fantastic uh the difference between me and my wife is i can eat the same meal for two weeks straight and be like oh good now i don't have to worry about that yep. and she after three days is like can we make something else and i'm like <laughs> well we could but we have all this food uh, I, I, I know that feeling, and uh, uh, I will not say too much more because I noticed my wife is in the chat, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> just roll on into our intro, Ross. Ross, we've been doing this for five weeks now. This is week number six. This is the finale of Super Art Fight Online, and we could not be more excited and delighted to have you join us for it. Before we talk about the standings, before we talk about where everyone is, before we talk about what we're looking at for tonight, let's go ahead and have four possibly new fans joining us here tonight. Ross, if you could break it down, what exactly is a super art fight and what's going to happen here tonight? All right. Well, what you all are about to see is three phenomenal bouts of art fight action. In each bout, two artists will be walking up metaphorically to the digital canvas, they will have 20 minutes to cover the canvas with artwork, working anywhere they want, uh, up, down, and all around. Uh, at the end of those 20 minutes, you, the audience, are going to be choosing the winner by voting in the chat using the Twitch live survey poll. pick one the, the poll. Term's a poll. poll. That's the term. They're going to use the poll thingy. And here I was thinking like, oh man, I'm nailing this intro. I'm, I'm not flubbing. I'm doing great. Can't think of the word pull. Anyway, uh, you you do that. We choose the winner of the match. Uh, but if that wasn't crazy enough, every five minutes during the bout, we spin something called the Wheel of Death, which is a random topic generator uh, full of topics submitted ahead of time by you, our audience, via our website, superartfight.com. So uh, what you're going to see tonight is all of that fun. Uh, there's a few more bits and bobs, but we'll cover it all as we get to it. Uh, what makes tonight extra special is we've been in the midst of our first ever online tournament, a round robin tournament, and tonight is going to be the final results. These matches choose the winner, and I'm so excited to see it all come together, Marty. Yeah, and, and speaking of that tournament, producer Steve, if you could please throw up what are the final standings to give you an idea of where everything landed and also what we're going to have going on tonight in our main event of the evening to decide the winner the undefeated shoujo agogo will be going one on one with the two and two red aaron red aaron advancing ahead of bunny into the finals 
by having previously beaten Bunny, beating Bunny uh, in the round robin tournament. Of course, Red Aaron looking for revenge here tonight as Shoujo Agogo, she drew first blood. Shoujo Agogo was the first one to actually defeat Red Aaron on the digital canvas. On the other side of the standings, tied for last, one and three, we've got Baron Von Sexyful, shockingly enough, and Stevie Speed. These two, they collided last week, and we have a rematch as we have our Loser's Redemption match where the winner gets to fire themselves back up in the rankings and get that last little bit of victory. So uh, we'll, we'll see who can redeem themselves here. And with that, I believe it is time to get things started. So your opening contest is scheduled for one fall and it has a 20 minute time limit. And this is the loser redemption bout. I would like to bring to the digital stage first. He is Super Art Fights resident race car driver and he does not seem to care much for ross or i this is super cola zone stevie speed hello martin hello ross and ross ross yeah, just ross ross yeah. ross yeah, just ross mm-hmm Sure. Great. Hello, Ross Scott. Um, yeah, no, it's great to be back. Um, you know, last time we were here, uh, I had a lot of words for the Baron. And, you know, I'd like to think that after our last match, uh, it was a great contest from both of us. We both did a great job. Um, and I just want to say anything that I might have said or done or screamed or sent to him in a mysterious envelope that's all water under the bridge man you know like we me and the baron were former tag team partners we were champions together and i just i would love to get the band back together once we're all done with this lockdown mess like me and the baron we're tight we're really tight and i just i would love to be tag team champs with him again and i just hope that anything that i might have done with or within the letter of the law last week or last last episode just it's a water under the bridge we're cool we're chill and i'm looking forward to a great match with him a great match tonight and win or lose just a good time and i just you know what i appreciate the baron so much and i'm just really looking forward me and my sponsor super cola we're just really looking forward to to maybe getting back together with the baron and just doing great things so I, I, all, I, all I, nice good fun times here i i, I gotta say steve i'm I'm impressed the 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 maturity, the positivity that you're you're bringing to the table here tonight. I mean, it, it's an art fight, but you know, it might be an art reunion. I'm I'm really excited for you, sir. Thanks, Marty. And you know, the other thing that I just want everybody to understand is there is definitely not a PR guy to my right who is holding a contract and a lighter right under it. It's definitely not the case. And I just I'm really happy to be here at Super Art Fight tonight, and it's going to be a really good time. I, I have no doubt uh, that, that that is not happening. That is a very particular thing to mention. Uh, but with that, I'm going to turn it to Ross to introduce your opponent. Ross! Yeah. Um, gosh, where do we even begin? Um, uh, he's... If you've seen Super... Let's, let's go with this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. If you've seen Super Art Fight before... And you've ever thought to yourself, Ugh, that again? Here he is in person, ladies and gentlemen, Baron Von Sexyful. Hello there, Rossi Poopfoot Brains. How are you? Ugh, I'm great. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked. I thought we were cool. Here I am. I, I Look at me, I'm, I'm, I'm all feeling festive. I, look at my background. I've even decorated- <laughs> What is up with your tree? It's decorated beautifully with your perfect face. Well, penultimately perfect face. I mean, come on now. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, uh, I, you're winning me over. I, I am so shocked that you are giving me so much hate, and I'm even more shocked that the Stevie Speed um, is. I, I thought he was just my chauffeur. I didn't realize he was the one sending me all of those messages and. Go. Strange pictures of, um, well, never mind. And I, I'm just shocked and appalled. But 
I mean, if he wants to drive me to the auto bars the next time we go back, yeah, whatever. But as you can see, I'm I'm in the holiday season. Um, I'm I'm still trapped in this uh, this house. Um, uh, uh, you can see I'm 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 still in my bedroom, but this is the one wall. And um, I even wrote a little Christmassy song. Well, I mean, it's already a song. I just changed the lyrics. I'm going to sing it for you. Okay. Jingle bells, Rossi poos, Marty lost more hair, Jesus, Staff chapter Jesus. lost its blades, and the Baron has one hell of a fine tinseled booty. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I feel like I feel like you lost the plot a little bit there, sir. But you know what? I I've always wanted to be written about in song, so. Here's to you, Baron Von Sexyful. Here's to you. You got it, Marty. You know, I thought I'd lost the holiday spirit, but with songs like that, it's so easy to turn it all around. And remember what's really important this time of year, which is... My booty. Yeah, exactly. So thanks thanks for that. But more important than Baron Von Sexyful's booty is this <laughs> opening contest. Once again, it's a 20 minute time limit. So producer Steve, if you could please throw us to the canvas, good sir. Uh, loads up with that fancy new transition. Check that out. 20 minutes on the line, the opening contest, every single bout, the starting topics will relate to different type of finales. For tonight, for this opening contest, we are going to have TV finales. Baron Von Sexy Fool and Pink, Stevie Speed in blue. So let's go ahead and get this started. The way we get all of them started, I'm going to ask the artists if they're ready. They're going to let us know that they are, and then we'll count it down together. Three, two, one, art fight. Let's see those emotes in the chat, folks. So, Baron Von Sexyful, are you ready? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Woo. Stevie Speed, are you ready? Uh, hang on one second. I, got, I just got to send a quick... Baron, just let me know if you get this, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Now that I know who this is, it's just very disturbing. Um, but, yeah, I'm good to go. How would you feel about it before, when you didn't know who it was? I I'm not at liberty to say. Okay. Hey, show's still happening. Here we go. Three, two, one, art fight. Ross... So it begins. Television finales. Baron Von Sexyful on presumably the left. Yep, we're seeing him starting to draw there in pink. Mm -hmm. We've got Stevie Speed on the right in blue. TV finales, always a controversial topic. Uh, I got to ask, Ross, do you have any finales that you enjoyed? Any finales that you particularly disliked? Oh, man. Um, enjoyed, disliked. Uh, whew, so hard to take, you know since so many TV shows are about stretching out the middle as long as possible mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. to then wrap that up in a neat little bow at the end is always like such a mess um, man I I mean terrible I just watched uh, just to be completionist I'd never watched Star Trek Enterprise and I mm -hmm. finally went and watched all of that um, don't do that let me just say that uh, and definitely don't watch the finale because the finale takes place as a flashback as though it takes place during a Next Generation episode that came out in the actual universe 11 years before. And they just tried to pretend like the actors didn't look 11 years older and as though it was totally the same. It made no sense. It doesn't really feel like an ending of its own show it feels like the ending of a totally different show and uh it, and it's stupid so don't watch that one that's a bad one a good one i don't know watchmen yeah, hey. oh hello do you want to tell us your thoughts on mandalorian hey mandalorian's fantastic on the left hand side of the canvas we are seeing baron von sexy full throw out uh well that is probably the most extreme Maggie Simpson, I have ever seen. A absolutely uh, intense, absolutely ridiculous, absolutely horrifying. Yeah, that's like over a, there on Ma the left hand a Maggie side. Simpson, Sid Vicious mashup right there. Yes, 
And, and it uh, appears for the anime heads in the crowd, we're going full end of Ava over here on the right hand side of the canvas. You know, uh, I've seen the beginning of Ava probably 10 times, the middle of Ava probably five times, the end of Ava zero times. <laughs> uh, maybe something I should. I should fix or not. Uh, let me, let's see what the chat says. Actually, if we could throw up a poll in the chat, <laughs> yeah, should, should Ross watch the end of Ava? And now, if, now the, if the, the answer is yes, I will watch it by next season. The fire that you're playing with is that there are two and soon to be three different ends of Ava. Yeah, I know. When I say the end of Ava, what I mean is the original anime, because I am not going to just take the time to hunt down the five other things that that could be. <laughs> it's just not worth my time. Yes. Um, yes. All, all I know about it is that involves some kind of level of world-class trolling of its own fans, mm -hmm. uh, depending on which one you go with and how, but that's kind of all I know. And then he had a mental breakdown while writing it or drawing it or who knows what. Why not all of it? Uh, now, going back to what's going on over here on the left is we've got uh, an unusually busty Marge Simpson. Uh, it, it, this is not what I've come to expect uh, from Marge that's, Simpson. That's also so. a very, a very, a very pushed up boob right there. <laughs> I mean, that's like up to the collarbone. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, what, what, what is happening for Marge Simpson's bust happens for most uh, females in Pixar movies right now. It's just it's just a lot of angles going on right there as the gigantic head of Stevie Speed now pops up on the right-hand side of the canvas. And of course, Super Cola being added in there. We are less than a minute away from the first spin of the Wheel of Death. Two brand new topics coming in. Of course, each artist has a respin per bout. So we'll see how that plays out. Uh, uh, someone, and someone just said in the chat, "It's Marge from that one episode." And I, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I just want to leave it there. That's yeah. good. That's good stuff. Thank no, you, that's... President Dog. Yeah, excellent it. stuff. And it looks we like for a, a a Simpsons version of Baron von Sexyful, by the way. So this is fun. <laughs> well, Baron Von Sexyful getting handy with Marge Simpson, living the dream that Mo Sizlak wants, as we now get ready to go to the wheel of the 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Two brand new topics coming in. Here we go. And of course, I will check in and see what each artist wants to do with it. Baron Von Sexyful has mascot mayhem. Stevie Speed gets dad magic. Baron Von Sexyful, would you like to keep your topic or toss it away? Well, um, I think I will I will keep my topic. Keeping mascot mayhem, Stevie Speed, keeping or re-spinning on dad magic? Uh, I'll, uh, I'll make it work. All right, sticking with mascot mayhem and dad magic respectively are Baron Von Sexyful and Stevie Speed. Uh, <laughs> Uh, someone in, ch in in the chat already tossed it out that uh, uh, Gendo had some serious dad magic going on. Uh, and uh, Well, it's dark magic for Gendo, if you ask me. And um, dad magic. <laughs> He's got some dad magic. Wow. Yeah. Wow. See, that that's when so we get our, our, our first uh, DMCA warning. warning. It's Ross's bad cover. <laughs> mascot mayhem uh, now coming in together and mascot mayhem also the original name of the wonderful convention furthermore which hopefully we will be able to uh, go back to when we can people again we, we will see 13 minutes 39 seconds remaining in this your opening contest again this is the losers redemption match uh, where the winner will be able, uh, will basically redeem themselves here. Uh, they'll end up being the person in fourth, but uh, we shall see. And uh, Dad Magic, not really seeing where all it's coming in, although I'm seeing some additional beard and lines going on on the face of uh, the gigantic Super Cola hat wearing Stevie Speedhead on the right. And our mascot may have yeah. come in. It's, is that. Baron Von Sexy Fool, is that the Trix Rabbit or is that the Noid? I'm not, I'm not quite sure. Trix Rabbit and Trix okay. for him! <laughs> Much appreciated. 
Much appreciated. I, I can't remember. Is Trix one of the ones that can't get to the cereal or one of the ones that gets to the cereal? Silly like, rabbit. Trix with, are for kids. Those yeah, yeah, the yeah. The, the, the rabbit's not oh, okay. allowed they to have the cereal, them. but Lucky the Leprechaun takes the cereal away I, from the kids. I feel like there's two categories of cereal mascot. The one that get that get to it and the ones that don't get to it, you know? You got your Cap'n Crunch. He's like, yeah, I get some. It's mine. And then you get others like... like uh, Cookie Crisp or, or Tricks the Rabbit, where it's like, no, I want it, and they won't let me have it. Yeah. Well, how'd you get to be the mascot for it? Buy some yourself. Anyway, <laughs> um, you know, and then you got those that kind of split the difference, your Fruity Pebbles. Uh, but it's it's a real taxonomy of mascots, if you ask me. Yes, and, and, and speaking of sort of a taxonomy here, there's been a taxonomy of nonviolence on this canvas. I mean, yes, you have Homer Simpson getting shot in the chest, but so far, neither Stevie Speed nor Baron Von Sexyful really, uh, as I say it out loud, the bullet starts to fly through. Baron Von Sexyful now officially making the first bit of offensive contact here. <laughs> Although not the first offensive contact Baron Von Sexyful has made, that's for sure. Uh, that's one minute and 30 seconds the to the next spin of the Wheel of Death. Before we go to there, though, quickly, I want to check in with Super Hard Fight's own referee, Ref Adam. Ref Adam, how you doing, sir? Hello, Marty. Hello, Ross. Hello, chat. It is I, Ref Hello, Adam, Ref on Adam. The, the high seas of the Baltimore Harbor, taking a peek into the chat seeing a, it's a real who's who amongst our chatters we have we have some some long time long standing chatters in here uh, with us for of course the the inaugural uh final episode of this season um as a reminder i am in the chat please say hello uh, i i am always willing to put up a poll even when they get ignored by ross and marty that's fine. <laughs> not for them it's not for them chat Chat, it's for us. It's for us. Okay? Okay? So, uh, that's that's pretty much it. I'm just checking in. Everything's going well. Uh, back to you guys, and I will see you in the next bout. <laughs> Ref Adam out. Stay wet, Baltimore! Stay wet, Ref Adam. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, just before we spun uh, the wheel, and well, I'm or sorry, just before we cut to Red Adam. Um, and before we spin the Ten, wheel, nine, uh, eight, yeah, this seven, bullet just went all six, over the place and seems five, to have shot out four, literally everyone three, on the right hand side. Two, one, two brand new topics coming in, and that is a wanted level of bullet throwing going on there. And uh, yeah, we, that's some Yandu bullets right yes, there. Yes, we've got Baron von Sexyful getting mobile suit bundum and Stevie <laughs> Speed getting. Murder Bunny times 15. It's a bunny heavy round. Baron Von Sexy Fool, you're going to keep the mobile suit bundum. Um, let's see. I think that, um, no, why, why not? I, I, I'll give it a shot. Okay, Stevie Speed, would you like to keep the murder bunnies or would you like your respin? Uh, my PR guy says it would be a bad move not to, and he is not menacing at all. Okay, so keeping with those murder bunnies, no respins so far. And uh, no, uh, we, we've got a rabbit on the canvas. We'll have to see if that gets turned around. And also, it looks like Homer Simpson got turned into our dad magic, in addition to Papa Steve, who kind of looks like the general from Akira up there in the top right. Uh, but yeah, uh, Homer Simpson getting the dad magic. And yes, shot through the chest. Tough times for Homer as Maggie Simpson once again turns to a life of crime. Eight minutes, 50 seconds remaining in your opening contest. Two more bouts still to come including non-tournament action between Titanium and Two Drink Alex and the finals between Shoujo, Agogo, and Red Aaron. It's a packed and exciting evening here tonight. Ain't that right, Ross? Yeah, you know, Papa Steve there in the top right does look like someone who could probably squat you or uh, like just, just put, put, you put on his back and just back squat you uh, at least a few times and then tell you about his max rep. Um, meanwhile, over there on the canvas, we've got Stevie Speed just labeling each murder bunny, doing the work for you, <laughs> diagramming each one as it goes. Uh, hidden by hair in the top left is number five, so we're up to five so far. Meanwhile, our mobile suit Bundam coming together yeah. in the middle of the canvas. Speaking of abundance, 
Uh, we're running out of canvas space, Marty, and this is a pretty dense canvas already. Yeah, we've got a very, very dense canvas. And one thing that I'm noticing here about the mobile suit Bundam, like other robots of the 70s, but not Gundam, this one has firing fists. God bless you, Baron Von Sexyful, for adding some firing fists. That's really what the RX-78 needed, I felt. I, I agree. <laughs> Five I, I, bunnies I, I, in... I, I, oh. Sorry, I go ahead, Baron. I could, but I couldn't get him to get firing gams. <laughs> not enough space for it. Not enough oh. space for it. Uh, but yeah, we... you know, it's not often that you would see a foot shoot off in in an anime or, or any of those. You know, it's, it's always foot. the hand. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, there's still. It's not too late. It's not too late to whip it and whip uh, it. You know, good. the audience is clamoring for it. I think we can all agree. Um, meanwhile, our murder bunny down here in the bottom, we're up to six, but now we've got seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 bunnies deep, bottom. and most of them are being murdered. They're, they yeah. are either murdering or being murdered. It's a lot of death. And we, we're going to need that 15th one, one minute, 40 seconds to the final spin of this match. And again, a lot, a lot of artwork is on this canvas when that final spin comes in it's going to be all about the first artist who is able to take their topic and make it read through the artwork that has already been illustrated on this canvas it is it is absolutely intense it is absolutely ridiculous and with a minute and change until uh this final spin uh i i gotta see uh i, I gotta ask you ross who do you see getting the better spin out of this and taking it to victory. I mean, right now it really is neck and neck. I mean, we've got uh, a lot of evenly matched, uh, you know, tit for tat happening here on the canvas. I, I got to think, and you know, th this isn't necessarily based on a lot, but generally what we've seen is having that murder bunny times 15, having that sexy bunny times 15, having any, any topic times 15, you know, that that is an opportunity to succeed for Stevie Speed. And I think I think he's he's accomplishing it. The, the real question is where's 15? Oh, 14's up there in the top left. 15, 15 now, in the right. lower right. Yes. Yes. So I think we can officially now say he's done all 15. All so, 15 uh, have I, been met just in time as we're going to count it down. Final spin 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Here we go. For those emotes in the chat, folks, we've got reverse mermaids for Baron Von Sexyful. Oh, on that. And Kwai Moai for, for Stevie Speed. You know, uh, it's lucky for. Take uh, me, Marty. I didn't take the respin. Taking the respin oh, is Stevie for the Speed. Respin on that. I don't blame uh, him. I had yeah. a hard enough time saying it. Now, uh, Reverse Mermaids has a good opportunity for for Baron Von Sexful because we've only got ocean left in terms of just space on the canvas. So hopefully he's able to make use of that with this Reverse Mermaid. Uh, while And instead he's just ignoring that and drawing the top left. So that works too. Mm -hmm. uh, now, mm -hmm. uh, our fast food, we'll see where that comes together. Oh, it looks like Stevie Speed's using that area to his advantage. We'll yeah. see how in a minute. Um, and Stevie Speed getting fast food that is literally in his wheelhouse. It's something fast. It's something quick. It works for him. And if anyone's going to pull off reverse mermaids, it's the man who loves drawing legs and Baron Von Sexyful. This one is going to come down to the wire, Ross. Yeah, I mean, we're talking to both of their strengths here. I mean, it is like, talk about wheelhouses. He's drawing two houses, four wheels on that car. He is all over that. While well, meanwhile, uh, that we're getting that mermaid together in the top left. It had legs a minute ago. They got erased. I guess he's going for, he's he's taking he's taking a mulligan on those legs. Yes. Um, full leg day, Ross. I know you're not familiar with it, but full leg day happening right here, right now. Look, I get it. You're working on the zoom muscles. I understand. Three minutes, seventeen yeah, you seconds. You know, you gotta you gotta work that contest. upper body. Yes. You know, no <laughs> one's seeing no one's seeing below the waist. This isn't yeah. the New York Times. So yeah, you gotta keep it tight, keep it right, is what I'm trying to say. You gotta, you gotta, you know, work the lats, work the delts, the tries, the buys, anything under that, 
who's who's gonna know? Who's gonna know, Marty? Certainly not. Oh, I got me a great as, score. Congratulations. As, as appropriately enough, the fishnets now coming in on the reverse mermaid as I would a think car you'd be a morally gets driven into a mouth. Two minutes, 42 seconds. Stevie Speed taking the topic that no one likes to draw, a car, and making it work out right here, right now, in this loser redemption bout. I love that he's writing below it. You wouldn't eat a car. You wouldn't. And you also <laughs> wouldn't download one. I mean. So I am to understand. Apparently you would eat a car because this guy's doing it right down there. <laughs> uh, wh where do you think that's from, Marty? Uh, what the eating of the car or the line uh the the just where's the car from i mean where's oh oh well uh the number three on it tells me that it's from Earnhardt's, the finest regional southern fast food chain uh pretty much anywhere in the world fantastic well specifically I thought South. checkers <laughs> well i mean look you gotta racy. eat you got to you have no choice you gotta eat that's yeah, true what <laughs> One minute, 48 seconds remaining in this opening contest. Again, two more bouts to come, so stick around. We've got some exciting announcements all evening long, and uh, we okay. look forward to spending the night here with you, gang. Yes, Ralph. Here's my question, Marty. Reverse mermaid. Now, obviously, uh, that that's generally means, uh, you know, switch top and bottom halves. I get it. Mm -hmm. uh, where do they live, though? Is is where they live reversed as well? Are they above water creatures or below water creatures? They are shallow water creatures. They like to vade. <laughs> they do look, sh that one looks very shallow based on just the uh, fishnets alone. So can I say something about what I'm drawing? <laughs> Sure, you've got a minute and change left. Decide how long you want to talk about it. I just wanted to say is that I always love the pictures of mermaids that it's always their heads and their tails are flopping around. So here I put the fish head with legs just flopping out of some water. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really well sure the physics of that. It, it, I'm getting it kind of a Busby up. Berkeley For, vibe. 45 seconds, Ross. I've seen enough secret ice swimming to know that that works. 39 seconds to go. Will it be Stevie Speed? Will Baron Von Sexy Fool pull off another victory, continuing to ruin his perfect this reminds me of a Martin record. Short and Harry Shearer sketch. Yes, yes, very much so. 25 seconds remaining, folks. What a canvas this has turned into. Two artists at the top of their game. We'll have to see if the Gams win it, though. 16 seconds left. Yeah, I, I mean, this is a race to the bottom, Marty, at this point. Uh, and by that, I mean one nutshell. person is going to... Five, four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Caps on markers. That's an art fight, ladies Ooh. and gentlemen. Wow. 20 minutes gone in the blink of an eye. And now you, the fine folks at home, will be able to vote. The vote popping up in chat in just a moment. And, hey, we got a little bit of a little bit of uh, an improvement on that. Uh, Producer Steve, you want to throw that up there? Yeah, it's voting time. <laughs> oh, snap. Look at that. Yeah. I want to yeah. put so many different things in that graphic. <laughs> we are getting closer and closer to just having a dumbass ticker everywhere. We're going to turn this into Super Art Fight CNN. Anyway, a hell of an opening contest. I'm going to go ahead and start by chatting with Mr. Speed himself, Stevie Speed. It was an incredible bout. You're the only one who used a respin. Getting fast food, do you feel like this worked out well for you? Uh, you know, yeah, because I think that gives me a lot of branding opportunities. The more I can kind of get my name out there for all those corporations around the world, give me a little more cash to, uh, you know, help my art fight uh, opportunities and help my racing opportunities. Just the more they can see that I'm into their logos and I'm into promoting them, it means that I'll always have a shot to make more cash. Uh, the one thing I did want to bring up is that um, I noticed that the Baron, his picture of himself, usually he's very good at drawing himself, but what he drew kissing Marge Simpson was basically just Dilbert, so I just made it look more like Dilbert. Bless you for doing that. In, in this day and age, that, that is actually one of the most cruel things a person yeah, that's basically could do. a hate crime at this point. <laughs> hey, I just calls him as I see him. Uh, I, I, I completely understand. Well, uh, Mr. Speed, I wish you the best of luck in the voting. We will see what happens. And now with Baron Von Sexyful, it's my boy Ross. Ross. Baron Von Sexyful, you know, I, I, I came in with, ugh, 
what shtick is he going to bring to it tonight? But you know what? You brought the most shtick I could have possibly imagined. For that, I, I honestly appreciate you, and I applaud you, sir. Well done. Oh, thank you, Rossi Poo. You've made my holiday so special with one your sultry voice and to your kind words. I needed them, especially after losing my perfect record. Now I just want to stomp on that quick boy's butt and beat him today. So let me ask you, you had this perfect record. You're one away from it now, so you're one and three. Now you have the opportunity to either be two and three or one and four, which gets you maybe, I would argue, closer to back to where you were, your perfect losing record. So do you want to come out winning or losing here? Which one really would you consider the victory? Uh, if I'm honest, at this point, I don't really give a crap. I just want them to <laughs> come and take me to, to, some, to get something to eat. Uh, okay, sure, why not? Cool, let's let's go with that. I just want to like drape myself in tinsel and deal with the fact I'm stuck in this stupid house. Yeah, well, you know, we're all feeling that. We're all feeling that a lot. Um, what are are you gonna do? A lot of decorating around there. I mean, obviously you've done some, but do you have Rostipo, more plans? I'm gonna drape myself all over every inch of this house and decorate it Baron von Sexy from Uh, we're yep. Hey, uh, Ross, I, I hate to, yeah. to cut in. Uh, very, very literally last second, we ended up with a 50 50 tie here. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? Can I weigh in on this one? <laughs> yeah. Yes, you can. I mean, I didn't care if I was going to win or lose, and I'd love to hear Stevie's speech, but like, we a team. I do all the good stuff. He drives me to the place to do the good stuff. I say he keeps the time. All right. Well, congratulations. You both lost. That's how we're going to look at it. You both yeah. lost. Baron Von Sexyville, <laughs> big fan of ties, as anyone will tell you. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, let's go with it. Why not? Stevie Speed, though, what are your thoughts? Uh, ending on a tie? You know, it means a lot to hear you say that, Baron. And this is perfect. This is just perfect. Thank you so much to all my fans out there. It's the perfect result. Um, I just, this means so much to me and my sponsors. Uh, my PR guy is nodding over there. He doesn't, he put away the knife, which is great. So I think this worked out just fine. Thank you to Super Cola, to Super Artifacts, all my fans out there, to the Baron, my best friend. I can't wait to be back on the cameras with you again. Um, sex drives back together, baby. Wait, who wow. is talking? I don't understand. <laughs> I love you, Baron, man! <laughs> you know, I think, Marty, what this taught me is that the real winner was the friends we made along the way. I, I guess so. I, I guess it's what we, found, what we found out. Also, we found out that when Stevie Speed cries, it gets loud enough that Zoom just ducks his audio down and we don't get any of it. So, there we go. Well, your, I appreciate cutting your away co losers of your opening contest, Team Sex Drive, Baron Von Sexy Fool, and Stevie Speed, both ending this season with a one in four record. I know I saw some people say one, three, and one. No, this is one in four. They didn't earn anything. <laughs> Beat. Yeah, you know, yeah. there was no winner, and therefore there were two losers. So. That, that's our new rule, chat. If you make this tie, they both lose. That's how <laughs> Ross is going to end up champion. Is that what you want? <laughs> Yeah, that's how we do it. Everyone <laughs> lost but me. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna roll on it about two in just a moment. But before that, I want to tell you a little about a little bit about. Uh, oh, I, I I just realized we we uh, we totally did not give either artist an opportunity to have plugs. Uh, sorry, that that tie threw us off a little bit off of our game. Uh, very quickly, Bear about sexy full. Anything you'd like to plug? Yeah, uh, something a little different uh, this time. Uh, usually, I, 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 you know, I'm stuck in these houses in my Cobraco. Uh, I usually plug his shop so that he can pay off all the credit cards that I am doing. I'm not going to do that today. Instead, uh, tomorrow he is actually going to be doing a live draw on Instagram TV for the Baltimore Craft Show, the uh, Charm City Craft Show um, uh, Holiday Heap. So if you join him tomorrow at um, 3 p.m., at Spaghetti Kiss, at Spaghetti Kiss on Instagram. He is going to be drawing live to your holiday suggestions. So please jo join him and tell him things to draw and he will make monsters from it. 
Tremendous. I love it. I love it. I'm all about it. Uh, Stevie Speed, did you have any plugs, sir? Oh, he, he's uh, gone. I don't know if we can hear him over the crying. I, 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 uh, I, I maybe, think he drove uh, away. I think he's gone. There, there he went. All right. Well, no, no plugs for Stevie Speed, uh, but some additional plugs we do want to throw at you. Uh, superartfight.com is, of course, the home of all things Super Art Fight. Uh, if you'd like to support us, there's a few different ways you can. Uh, you can simply follow this channel. We would love to have you join us. Every Thursday night, we play D&D on here, Super Art Fantasy. Uh, we will perhaps be announcing some additional super art fight shows perhaps later on tonight we'll find out um, yeah we'll see you live at the auto bar next week <laughs> yeah. 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 you can buy yeah. super art fight merch at superartfight.etsy.com or the link that's right now in chat and of course at home for all things super art fight is superartfight.com but hey there's a fun additional bit as well because we wanted to grow the community a bit more yes previously our patrons you can support us still at patreon.com slash super art fight the patrons had access to our discord but you know what we want to share love a bit more we know there's some of you who are in the chat maybe you're you're subscribing to us here on twitch and you didn't want to pay an extra fee cool so our discord with the exception of certain channels is now going to be public so if you head to bit.ly slash saf discord you can join the fun join the chat meet your fellow super art fight fans we at super art fight jump in as well uh ref adams in there we've got everybody in there so bit.ly slash saf discord join the fun join the community join the super art fam it's gonna be a real great time ross you're in there from time to time and i believe you actually just posted an article in there is that right yeah yeah, yeah. i just i just posted an article all about how captain crunch's like basically entire backstory and how it inadvertently led to the creation of the iphone so that's a fun read go check that out we'll talk yeah. about that in there um well yeah we're we're basically trying to move a lot of our true nonsense behind the scenes into into there and so you can you can see all that soon um uh yeah it, it's a good time we're having we have fun here yeah yeah so please <laughs> jump on in chat with us uh you you can also be notified when we post new things on twitter new things on twitch new things on youtube a little bit of everything will come straight to you if you join our discord and hey uh, I, I guess, of course, you know, it's another Discord you can join if you're already a part of, like, eight, like many of us are. So, rolling on into bout number two here tonight. This is a non-tournament match, but it's between two absolute favorites here at Super Art Fight. It is, of course, scheduled for one fall, and it has a 20-minute time limit. I would like to introduce to the stage first... The, hang, hang on. Uh huh. Mm hmm. All right, producer, producer Steve is telling me that that we have a a, a video. We, or we we have a live uh, beyond the video we're doing a live stream set up at their house. A video from Titanium live at her house. Titanium, can we can we get this up on the screen? Greetings, Super Art family! It has been much too long since I have both seen you, and I thought I would celebrate with a festive drink. Now that I am once more facing against two drink Alex, I did not come out victorious the last time that I went up against him, so I thought, why not get in the spirit <laughs> of things so. Glug, 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 glug. We are not quite going for pigs, by the way. All right. Bottoms up. Happy holidays! Happy sea- oh. Happy holidays and season finale to Super Art Fight Online! Hang on, hang on. This, this isn't quite. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. Oh. 
Well, <laughs> that was that was certainly a way to uh, to kick off the holiday season. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll give Titanium a minute to uh, to get back into the house because uh, I, I I don't think uh, that that's really conducive. Although she had great video out there, maybe it is conducive to streaming. Anyway, with yeah, her opponent. Video. It is a pretty messed up video. Uh, with her opponent, I'd like to turn it over to Ross. Ross! Yeah, uh, well, whew, uh, still coming off of that. All right, here we go. Um, speaking of booze, let's turn it over to our resident Lush uh, and also resident Star Wars expert, sometimes both at the same time. Ladies and gents and everybody else, it is to drink Alex! Well, hello there, everybody. Happy, uh, what day is it? It's not Christmas yet. Happy 20 days from Christmas. Yeah, happy, happy Tuesday. I don't know what day is it. Is it Tuesday? It's Saturday. Who knows? It's Saturday. I know it's that. It's Saturday. I know that. Okay, well, it's Saturday somewhere, I guess, right? That's right. What are you drinking? Uh, yeah, tonight's, uh, tonight's Two Drink Alex is brought to you by, uh, Toasty Cookie Spiced Cider from Trader Joe's, a, uh, hey. beverage which is extremely okay. <laughs> oh, man. I, I wanna, I wanna hear all of your Two Drink Alex drink reviews, because they seem like they're gonna be just hot fire. Yeah, we, we played this right. We're gonna just add the Two Drink Alex drink reviews to patreon.com slash super Yeah, we'll throw them up on Discord or I don't know, however that works. Um, but to drink Alex, uh, I gotta ask, I gotta ask, known Star Wars fan, here we are Saturday night. Uh, what'd you think of that Mandalorian? Oh, uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, a lot of people had stuff to say about it, but I thought it was fine. I thought it was just fine. Uh, you gotta get to the fireworks factory quick enough, and I think they're doing a fine job. Yeah, I cannot wait till they get to the fireworks factory in the next episode. Uh, uh, that we'll planet that's a fireworks factory uh, that's two episodes from now by my yeah. count but really who's counting <laughs> yeah great <laughs> awesome thanks <laughs> all right i'm gonna go draw in my napkin now <laughs> yeah sounds good uh all right well marty we ready to kick things over the canvas i i surely hope we are let's go ahead and roll on now producer steve take us to the promised land take us Oh, wait, hang on. Is she back with us, Margaret? Yeah, oh, is no, Titanium Margaret back? Is. Titanium? <laughs> Titanium's on mute, too. <laughs> so we we can't see them. <laughs> Titanium, are you there? <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. You've released it. Mm. Titanium, you doing all right, bud? Yes, I would like everybody to know I filled this up to the jackass line. Wow. Oh, for information. So I am very well prepared for the ritual that is facing to drink Alex completely 100% totally smashed. Well, I, I hope this ritual <laughs> goes better for you than, uh, than, than your last one did. Speaking from experience, Titanium, that's not a good idea. <laughs> Speak for yourself, you perpetual lush. Someone already called you that. It's fine. It's fine. All right. <laughs> let's just let's go ahead and just roll this to the canvas. Good lord. Uh, Twenty minutes on the clock. Too dork, Alex. Uh, I'll, I'll <laughs> wow. write some more for you, Titanium. Twenty Don't minutes worry. on. We'll... Good God. Twenty minutes on the clock. <laughs> drawing in green is going to be two drink, Alex. Titanium's going to be drawing in purple. And last bout was TV finales. This time, both artists are going to take on movie finales. So we're going to start this like we start all of them. I'm going to ask them if they're ready. And then three, two, one, art fight. So, two drink, Alex, are you ready? Uh, cheers. Yes, that means yes. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate the Brit to US breakdown. Uh, Ditanium, are you ready? Hang on. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh, she is going oh, for it. Oh, you got to pace yourself, Titanium. <laughs> Good thing Let's that face paint is on. Otherwise, Titanium will be bright beat red right now. Here we go. <laughs> Three, two, one, art fight. Good Lord, Ross. The <laughs> you can tell this is the finale. People are rolling. Uh, you know... 
Fun. Titanium is going to leave it all on the table, and by it all, I mean her lunch. Yes, yes, <laughs> uh, undoubtedly. Uh, and and I did see it ask, what do uh, what does a movie finale mean? Many movies are self-contained, but in this instance, we're t- talking about the final movies of series of films. You know, the the final ones of your Star Warses, your uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe, your yeah. Like, Pirates like of at the end of Memento, when Dave Memento finally, you know, mements everything. Yes, yes. M- m- <laughs> and it looks like on the right-hand side in purple, weirdly enough, I think that might be a purple Shrek. Uh, I mean, it's either a purple Shrek or an Endorian. It's a Star <laughs> Trek thing. Endorians. They have... They have things. Um, meanwhile, on the left-hand side, though, two drink Alex drawing. Uh, we caught someone, someone with their pants down. sitting on a down. toilet? Yeah, that is. Uh, I believe it is someone pooping into a box, Marty. Oh, is that the end of seven two? Uh, yeah, eight. <laughs> it's just called eight, Marty. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Eighteen minutes thirty-four seconds in your opening contest. We're gonna spin the wheel again at the fifteen-minute mark. Oh no! Wait. Mark and the five-minute mark. <laughs> it's been labeled by his opponent uh, as just George Lucas, just just t- taking a dump in a box. Not quite. <laughs> that poop's called the power of myth, Ross. Uh, yeah, I've heard that. You know, Joseph Campbell, big fan of fiber and the power <laughs> of myth. <laughs> oh wait. I think that's J.J. Abrams. <laughs> yeah, that is J.J. Abrams pooping into a mystery box. <laughs> Let me just screenshot that so we can put it on a t-shirt later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the, the, the J.J. Abrams poop box is definitely the next one. What I love best about it is the is the just kind of like banal stare on J.J. Abrams' face as he <laughs> does it. That is a thousand yard He's stare. so over it. Yeah, yeah. That he's like, I don't know. We could ask some more questions, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Ray's I'm, like, uh, 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 like uh, she's got powers. Yeah, yeah. She's like chosen, but not. <laughs> <laughs> but like, who were her parents? I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe uh, it doesn't me, matter. Maybe let it me does. tell you. J.J. Abrams definitely proves he is a fan of Stephen King. Put together a beginning. Those endings, though. <laughs> Uh, you know, J.J. <laughs> Abrams must be a real pain to try and, like, order dinner with. You know, like, what <laughs> Never do you gets want dessert eat? or all of his I don't know. are terrible. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want to eat? <laughs> More questions. <laughs> oh, uh, and, and I, I, uh, what's that, what's that we've got going on behind J.J. Abrams? Uh, Besides looking like a meth the, addict. It's, there's a ghost. There's oh. a ghost do it, having force powers. Oh, is that Force Luke? Is that Force Luke? I think that's... Uh, that's... It's, it's it's Force Luke, uh, Force Obi-Wan, uh, it's Force Bearded Guy. We'll find it's out forced. who. It's very forced is what it is. It is forced, much like the last movie. So, uh, meanwhile, on the right-hand side, though, we have Shrek uh, running from, I assume, an explosion. Mm. What else would he run from or towards? It's unclear. Is he running towards smash mouth uh away from it, smash mouth it's with smash mouth he's doing the smash mouth 5k ross <laughs> in 2020 instead of doing cruises all 90s bands now support individual 5ks yeah why not i mean yeah. you're an all-star get your game on <laughs> go play less than a minute until the next spinning of the wheel you might as well be walking on the bell. side marty uh, might as well no choice but uh so there he is it's ogre now his head though being turned into bb8 yes indeed 30 seconds to the first spin oh and a, a, a random fist coming across to cold cock jj abrams over there on the left hand side of the canvas <laughs> uh something that i think we've seen many a forum want to do yes wish they could do yes uh, and unfortunately not and able to do. 10 9 8 Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. First spin of the bout for Two Drink Alex and Titanium. Respins available for both. Two Drink Alex gets the saddest little pumpkin. 
and Titanium gets Wizard Blizzard. Two drink Alex, would you like a respin? You're gonna keep that little pumpkin. I'll keep that little pumpkin. Keep that little pumpkin? Little All little right. Pumpkin. Uh, before I forget, shout out to Big Pumpkin. And then uh, on the right hand side, Titanium, Wizard Blizzard, you're gonna keep it or you're gonna take the respin? Oh, I will keep this Wizard Blizzard. I will make you feel so frosty. Mark my words, host Marty, you will feel so frosty. I'm just saying on the frosty column, you got to outdo Wendy's, and that's got a much longer track record. 14 minutes, 15 seconds remaining in this bout. No respins used on the first two topics. Ross, how are you feeling about how this bout is going so far? Well, I really want a blizzard from Dairy Queen right now, but uh, outside of that... um... Uh, we're getting some, I mean, we I, we didn't quite call it out, so uh, we did get a literal smash mouth there on the left-hand side from the mm-hmm. pen of mm-hmm. Titanium. Well done on that one. I think we've all wanted to, as we said, punch J.J. George in the face. Uh, now we're also getting just a full-on Frosty, less dangerous than a lightsaber, but still very cool. Marty? Yes, very, very cool indeed. And also, uh, on the right-hand side, we've got fairly recent bot thing Dio over there on the right hand side saying his popular catchphrase I suck oh that that's Rodney James Dio right there yeah yeah right there right there that's him he, he turned into a tiny robot which could be recreated with like three Lego pieces uh, amazing uh, I did see in the chat and uh, I don't wanna I don't wanna steal ref Adam bit but did you know there was a Shrek musical? I truly didn't know that existed. Yes, yes. I am aware there's a Shrek musical. Uh, look, not all... How many times have you watched it, Marty? I, I haven't watched it, but I, I knew there was the Shrek musical. You know there's a SpongeBob musical, Ross? That doesn't surprise me. There's a SpongeBob everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know who wrote for it, though? Uh, Aaron Sorkin. No, popular uh, internet songsman Jonathan Colton worked on that. Oh, I thought you were going to say Lin-Manuel Miranda. (laughs) No, no, no. He's busy working on being, you know, a little too twee. 12 minutes, 25 seconds to go. We've got the the stomach of Shrek turned into the saddest little pumpkin. That's a rather large little pumpkin. Uh, And the wizard blizzard. Yeah, what's uh, little is his joy. (laughs) Fair. Uh, over there on the left-hand side, uh, the lizard blizzard, wizard blizzard coming together with Wendy tossing a frosty. We are, we are just getting a whole bunch of fast food references here. Again, superrarify.com. Hit that contact link if you want to unabashedly sponsor run one of these canvases. We will work in as many references to you or your brand as we can. You know, they say with uh, for the Jedi, you're supposed to reach out with your feelings. This one's reaching out with just a frosty. Yeah, and you're going to reach out and eat the feelings, Ross. That's what's happening there. I am all about it. Um, so... Right now in the, the center of the canvas, uh, I'm not entirely sure of the reference, so I'm just going to assume that is popular actress and former wife to Lenny Kravitz, Lisa Bonet, right there in the center <laughs> of the canvas, Ross. I believe that's Dio, Marty. Oh, of course it is. One minute and change. Did you know Dio was lot rocked for a long, long time? I knew Dio was rocked. I knew ne- Dio was dead. I didn't know Dio would look like an adorable anime girl when rendered by the pen of Titanium. Yeah, Dio basically looked like, uh, what's her name from the labyrinth? Didn't you know that? <laughs> Jennifer Conley? Best in all. Yeah, Jennifer Conley. Oh, Eyebrows and all. Dio, it's time to go, and it's almost time for both these artists to go and get brand new topics from the Wheel of Death. Again, that's coming up at the 10-minute mark. 33 seconds to the next spin. And uh, J.J. Abrams looking very grumpy over there on the left. Very grumpy. Yeah, well, you would too if you were pooping into a box. I don't know. It could be a comfy box, Ross. It could be a real what, what, comfy What I'm box. not sure about this, functionally speaking, is he doesn't seem to be in much of a squat position. Ten, he nine, seems to just be like eight, cheeks against the bottom. Seven, and six, that doesn't really give anywhere for five, the poop to go. Four, three, two, one. Time to spin the wheel of death. Let's see those emotes, folks. Throw them out in the chat. 
Two more topics coming in. Two drink Alex, you're throwing shade, whereas Titanium gets Costco for Minotaurs. <laughs> two, two drink Alex, you're going to keep this one or would you like your respin? Yeah, 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 let's respin it. Respinning on throwing shade, Titanium keeping Costco. Oh, absolutely not. With a special shout out to recent subscriber Dumpling Owl, the provider of the subject. All right, no respin for Titanium here. And you know what, Ross? I think now's a great time to check in and see what's going on in the chat. Uh, oh, sorry. Stomp a Donut is Two Drink Alex's new topic. Sweet. Stomp a Donut. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, now throw it to Ref Adam, see what's going on in the chat. Ref Adam, how you doing, sir? Hello, Marty. Hello, Ross. Hello, art fighters and everyone in the chat. It is I, Ref Adam, checking in from the Safiopter 3, the luminosity here on the the brisk shores of Baltimore City in the Baltimore Harbor. Uh, the, the the chat is is a gust with the emotes. Once again, I I must say the 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 subscriptions that we have gotten in this show in particular they they are they are astounding. We we've 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 had so many we have so many people so many people renewing their ability to be able to drop the emote in the chat. It, 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 it is a sacred right. It's a sacred right to be able to drop an emote in the chat. And and these chatters are are making sure that they have that ability. And, and you know, I, I applaud you. Thank you. Thank you so much, chatters. We love you so, so, so much. Um, but again, I just, uh, I want to extend my appreciation and our appreciation for everything that you chatters do in here from all of your all of your votes especially the ones that that break the ties and make sure that we do not ever tie you know i i really appreciate you and i'm there with you and i will always be there with you that is it ref adam out thank you ref adam he was, he was getting a little uh, message yeah he's he getting very touching at the end there i hope out, ref adam's okay he's been out there on the I was going to say the high seas, but it's really more the medium waters of uh, the Baltimore Harbor for months now. And I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned. A, it's probably very cold. But B, I don't think there's anyone else on the yacht, Ross. Uh, no, I, I've never seen or heard about anyone else being on the yacht. He said one time he was having a party, but I'm pretty sure I heard just an audience crowd soundtrack looping in the background when he did it uh it might have been like that scene in home alone where he pretended to have friends over uh but with cardboard cutouts of michael jordan yeah, also, I, I, why does adam have so many cut cardboard cutouts of michael jordan it's really unclear look there was a footlocker they were going out of business and really who only buys one cardboard cutout when they're 75 percent off yeah, I mean, you can get four for the price of one at that point. He's number well. 23 from North Carolina. Come on. All right, Six so minutes, back here on the seconds. canvas, we've got Stompadon it uh, there on the left-hand side as Stompadon is just coming for J.J. Abrams. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Going right after J.J. Definitely has opinions and thoughts about the way Alias ended, as do I. Are they positive? No. And uh, where's our Minotaur, Ross? Well, you've got, oh, uh, oh good over lord. there on the right-hand side. Good lord. Using the Dio as the eye, pulling together that Minotaur, carrying a box from, as we can read it there, Cots. It could be Cozy, the wonderful Not Quite Panera Bread. What's for breakfast? No, no, no. There you go. <laughs> it's right above. It's right below. Um... Costco for Minotaurs, uh, does that just mean the Minotaur is getting lost in the labyrinth that is Costco? Yes, of course. That, that, Why not? You, you nailed it. Got it in one. Proud of you. Sweet. More Stompadons everywhere. Stompadons going on everywhere. Oh, hey, I just noticed there's also a link in the chat right now being thrown out where you can buy your own plush Stompadon. So, hey, if you yeah. want a Stompadon at home, Check go ahead, out. get you a Stompadon. And I also wanted to point out the absolutely incredible Charlie Brown pumpkin in the center of the canvas that came from the pen of Two Drink Alex. As absolutely horrifying and dynamic as the cow is right to the top left, that Charlie Brown is aces, Ross. 
Yeah, I don't know. I think One. that cow looks pretty fantastic. Final spin in the wheel, Ross. It looks like Final a cow spin. and Bowser had a baby, a.k.a. Cowser. How's that? <laughs> uh, so, Two Drink Alex gets no ties in chat, only on canvas. What? And Titanium gets Lisa Frankenstein. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and force a respin on our own two drink Alex in that one. That's not that a bit. I, I don't know. I don't get it. Lisa Frankenstein for Titanium. Titanium, would you like to keep that? I would like to keep that. Okay. Uh, so two drink Alex, because I forced the respin, because I have no idea what you would draw for that. Let's go ahead and go with watermelon animals. Okay. <laughs> Watermelon animals. Hmm. Okay, so watermelon animals for two drink Alex. While meanwhile, Lisa Frankenstein coming together from Titanium. You know, uh, going to be kind of a clash in styles. You know, we've got Titanium known for her metal uh, penchant. Uh, going with kind of the exact opposite of metal, which I would just describe as... A uh, uh, rave incarnate. Um, we'll we'll see how that comes together. Yes, indeed. Uh, watermelon animals, uh, pr preferably. Uh, if I'm to drink, Alex, I'm going to go ahead and try to go with the square uh, watermelon animal there, uh, whenever possible. Yeah, I believe we're getting our watermelon. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, our Lisa Frankenstein on top of Charlie Brown. Uh, yes, as that is getting turned into. The, the island of Dr. Moreau, more like. Uh, while meanwhile, our watermelon animal as on the left as what started as Stompadon is now becoming a Melanie Stompadon. And Ross, I believe our, our pull system has gone rogue as there's an entire boo on me thing, which is the only option is to boo me. I was helping two drink Alex, you guys. Even he was lost on that one. I'm voting Come on. for Marty on that one. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Two minutes, right, two 45, minutes 45 seconds. 45 seconds to go. Mm -hmm. uh, Kowser getting some green skin. Down below, uh, Charlie Brown is becoming a dolphin. How do you think Peppermint Patty would feel about that? Uh, Charlie Brown becoming a dolphin? Yeah. Uh, I'd say that's an absolute win. One problem, though, I can't recall where Peanuts is supposed to take place. Don't feel like there's a lot the water going on there uh i mean it's it's definitely a pretty i always thought upper midwest mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. it's got to be mm -hmm. cold enough and snowy enough that you get the kind of frigid winters that uh that are depicted so i'm you know it's a chicago area it's a it's a milwaukee area two minute like warning that. two minutes remaining folks as you were ross uh, yeah, I, well, I mean, that's, that's, that's what I got for you. I get kind of a Christmas story vibe from it. Uh, uh that, that makes perfect sense. As we got one minute, 43 seconds, the final bits coming in together here. We're getting a, a lot of, uh, a lot of purple in the lower, uh, lower left and, and center of which the canvas. Which just makes Dio look like Prince. Yeah, yeah, de definite Prince vibes, which kind of goes with the whole Lisa Bonet thing too. And uh, one minute, 25 seconds to go. Will this actually be, be t pulled together with a pr Prince reference? I certainly hope so. And two drink Alex continuing to We started add... with movie finales. Let's just remember yeah, that. Yeah, and, and look at where we've gone. We've, we had Shrek's, we had J.J. Abrams's, we had Dio's, both Robot and Rockstar. Uh, we've, now we've got watermelon animals as far as the eye can see. And it looks like we are getting our dolphins drawn in, pulling together this Lisa Frankenstein, which of course is the name of the scientist, not the monster. It's also the name of the trapper keeper, not the folder. True, true. 40 seconds remaining in this bout two of three main event coming up in just a few moments. The finals of the round robin tournament. Will Shoujo Agogo continue undefeated? Will Red Aaron extract some revenge and have her hand digitally raised in victory? We will find out in just a few moments, but 20 seconds remaining on this contest as both Titanium and Two Drink Alex, they got some drinks in their system, but they produced a hell of a match and you at home will get to pick the victor. 10 seconds remaining. We count down from five as these last little bits come in. We have five, four, 
three, two, and one. Caps on markers. That's an art fight. An incredible contest. We went so many places in so many ways. But of course, you, the fine folks at home, will get to vote. Producer Steve, let's head into voting time. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and check in first on, though maybe not having as many drinks in name, probably has an equal amount of booze in their system. Titanium, how you doing, dear friend? Oh, I'm good. I'm, I'm at the zero ounces for rabbits at this point, and I may as well just polish it off and commit to the bitch, as they say. Go for it, my friend. Go for it. Oh, good lord. Listen, I haven't had a beer shower in eight months. Give me this. I realize my talking meant that you couldn't be seen while you were doing it. I just want to uh, confirm <laughs> for the people watching at home, she finished that in one gulp. Look, behold, this whole thing is empty. This was at the four ounces of them before, and now it's not. Look at that. Ha ha. Dang, Titanium. You are <laughs> you are full of pith and vinegar here. Uh, I. Why, thank you for noticing. Yes, uh, you had an incredible bout starting with the Shreks here. Uh, I gotta ask, uh, what was it about the, sh the fourth film in the Shrek franchise that made it the worst finale to you? Uh, because Shrek is love and Shrek is life, and that is the only finale to the Shrek saga that I will accept. Okay, I'm totally fine with it. Also, uh, you got to punch J.J. Abram in the face with uh, your pen. How did that feel? I can only imagine that Alex has uh, more eloquent statements prepared, but uh, considering his, you know, status as a, the star boy, but let me just say that it felt as good as destroying several pigs while also enjoying a cattle decapitation while also enjoying some municipal waste. Those are three metal bands, by the way. I know you don't understand any of those references. I'm just establishing that I made a joke and you didn't understand it. <laughs> For the record, I did get it. And at that note, I'm going to switch over to Two Drink Alex. <laughs> Two Drink Alex, sir. You took it to the rise of Skywalker from the jump. How do you feel about how this bout went for you good sir you know i had a good time i made some good reversals i thought it was some good stuff uh, made me hungry for watermelon even though it's not in season yeah um good to see stompy back on the wheel i haven't seen my good friend stompy in quite a long time so it was it was good to uh to put them on the, on the canvas there yeah yeah very nice rendition of stompy and those watermelon animals were were absolutely fantastic uh i i do have to say uh, with these final moments of voting coming through, uh, is there anything you'd like to say definitively about Rise of Skywalker for the Super Art Fight audience? Yeah, no bits. Um, no bits at all. Uh, I've only seen it once on, on opening night, and it made me really sad. Uh, it just made, it just sucked the life out of me. Um, it's a bad movie. No bits. All right, well, we'll have to see if that moment of earnestness got you the victory Producer Steve, who won the contest? Titanium takes the victory here. Titanium back on the winning ways. How are you feeling about the victory, Titanium? Oh, I'm glad that it seems like drinking lots of rum is very conducive to Titanium winning. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thank you again so much for joining us here tonight. Before we let you go, any plugs you'd like to tell us out here to the audience at home? Yes, of course. As always, you may fire find me, Margaret, <laughs> the person behind the corpse paint on at the Durian Print, on uh, Twitter.com, Instagram.com, you know, socials and all that good stuff. Um, and, you know, I always plug, you know, a little bit of good you can do in the world. Uh, one of the things that we really need right now uh, is to get our indigenous friends, who are, by the way, instrumental in securing us the uh, blue vote in a couple of swing states, uh, some COVID relief related supplies. Um, I'm actually running commissions right now, so you can get some commissioned art from Ditania, well! Uh, and all of that will go directly towards um, helping out with things like uh, housing and COVID relief packages for our indigenous friends uh, uh, in the United States. 
So, you know, you can find the details on uh, my Twitter and I'll also post them to the Super Art Fight Discord again, but buy my art. Hop on in there, get you some titanium originals. And on the other side of the canvas, sorry you were not the victor here tonight. To drink, Alex, how you feeling, bud? Oh, I'm sorry to say, but it's it's not Alex anymore. It's it's Dunk. <laughs> God damn Wait, you. Why, why is it Dunk? I want to know. Why is it Dunk? Whoa, where's your background, Ross? <laughs> oh, shoot. That's what I... My computer just destroyed me. My virtual backgrounds are all gone for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> now, the facade is falling apart. Good Lord. Uh, two Dunk Alex. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, live, I live in a house. There's a bookshelf. It's terrible. Two, two Dunk Alex, uh, anything you'd like to plug before we let you go? I have lots to plug, as always. Um, I do art sometimes at Dude Exclamation on Twitter. Uh, listen to me uh, every couple weeks on Toho Yaro, the Japanese Film Club podcast that I do, available any pod- where any podcasts are sold for free. Uh, speaking of podcasts, I'm on the One Piece podcast every week. And uh, please subscribe to our Patreon, patreon.com slash One Piece podcast. I do a separate podcast with my buddy, and storyboarder in LA, Steve Yurko, very talented artist. We have been watching the four kids dub of One Piece and uh, we do a monthly podcast uh, about that. So uh, give us your money. <laughs> yeah, you, you heard the man, support him because otherwise he's stuck in this never ending loop of Dunkachino forever. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be so bad. Look, look at Al Pacino. He looks like he's having so much fun doing that. About as much fun as you look like you're having at NYCC Anime Fest, Ross. <laughs> you know, I, I tried to tried to throw up a background there. No, I know. It's just it, it, it it's funny what, that that what, one is. Where's your show from? The Auto your Bar, background. our home away from home. Okay, great. I'll just switch to that one. Great. We're no, both you should have a different one. Background. Damn you! No, it's great. We're both there <laughs> at the same place. Uh, I feel so close to you now. Hey, uh, hey, Marty, just butting in. Uh, that is actually from uh, Union. Oh, it's from Union Stage. Oh, Th- thank you to look at that! Mm, it appears oh, I'm incorrect. La di da. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let us continue on with this show. Uh, you know, we're we're about to get rolling into the main event. We're about to pull together this season so I, I i think it is uh i think it's time that that we start talking about what comes next for super art fight as you know every single thursday uh we have our D stream super art fantasy that's 7 30 at night eastern time give us a follow on this channel and you will of course uh get an update when that occurs uh but uh we got something special planned for you Producer Steve, let's throw up that graphic. That's right, folks. It's back. The annual tradition continues. Super Art Fight's non-denominational holiday spectacular rolls on and returns on December 19th. That's two weeks from tonight, but it's going to be different than what you're used to in many, many ways. It may be faces you recognize, but it will not be names you do because... This will be a show of nothing but brand new characters. Every single artist, though you may know who the artist is, the personas, you do not. It's going to be a tremendous evening of Super Art Fight Entertainment just in time for the holidays. And uh, hopefully you'll be as excited as Santa Claus is currently dabbing in front of a gigantic wall of flame. What a tremendous night for Santa. And what a tremendous night to celebrate the holidays with your pals at Super Art Fight. It's going to be that's coming up on Saturday night, December the 19th, 2020, right here on this channel. Standard start time, 8 p.m. Eastern. Give us a follow if you haven't already, and uh, you'll be notified when we go live. It's going to be a real fun, real silly wonderful way to celebrate the holiday season because let's be honest right now we need fun silly and exciting things to look forward to especially ones that we don't have to leave our house to get involved with uh but yeah uh very very excited for this and who knows maybe there's more announcements to come nevertheless folks 
the following contest is your main event of the evening and it is the finals of the super art fight round robin tournament for super art fight online season one and it is scheduled for one fall with a 20 minute time limit ladies and gentlemen I would like to bring to the digital realm first. She came into Super Art Fight Online undefeated, but comes in today with a two and two record. She is the Super Art Fight Pixelway champion. She's a former Super Art Fight champion. She's a former Super Art Fight tag team champion. And she's pretty darn cheerful. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Red. Aaron! Hey, hi, Internet! I remembered to unmute myself. Yay! <laughs> also, for... It's like remembering to put on pants these days. It's like, congratulations. For Marty and Ross, I'd like to give you guys just a little, you know, traditional holiday greeting. Oh, oh yes. yes. Yeah. Same and to you. also with you. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome. Dear Red Aaron, uh, I, I, I just, uh, I, I'm very excited for you coming into this finale here. Yes, your record may be two and two, but you could come in here and, and end up winning the whole thing. What's going through your head before this big time main event here tonight on Twitch? Oh gosh, guys, guys, I'm nervous as all get out. But uh, now that we're kind of like in this time of the year, I'm going to, I've gotten out some of my um ornaments that i think will bring me good luck oh wait wait a minute oh i know that one. Oh my god i'm just gonna just gonna put these right hey, hang on can you can you can you share those again on on screen i i, I don't oh, yeah. think both were seen because ross and i made noise they're so cute uh, uh, jokes about the canvas other jokes about the canvas. Wait. Here we go. <laughs> Red Aaron, you are so Ooh. pure. You are so incredibly, wonderfully pure. And I want you to know, I don't want anyone to hurt a single hair in your head. Because if they ever do, I will murder them. Ross, bring on the one that will hurt many a hair on her head. All right, uh, coming out onto the canvas is the uh, self-described princess of pastries uh, and Super Art Fight's resident magical girl. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Shoujo A Go Go! Hello, cupcakes! We're here! We made it! We sure did, Shoujo. And how uh, how how are you doing? Oh my gosh, I feel like a unicorn wrapped up in in a cotton candy burrito, swaddled in a Mario Kart on Rainbow Road, tossing out Skittles to everybody. It's excitement. It is mayhem. It, 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 it all the colors, everything. I I feel everything right now. <laughs> wow, what did you take before the show? Skittles. Skittles. Which flavor? Yes. Awesome. You're just tasting that rainbow right now. I mean, look at it. It's in my hair. It's in my crown. It's in my heart. And it's, well, actually, it won't be on the canvas. We're only allowed to use two colors. But, you know, yeah. it's in me. Yeah, I getcha. Yeah. Generally, when I eat too many Skittles, it's in my shirt. It's in my couch. It's on the floor. That's about it. It's in your butt. Uh, sometimes when I really miss... <laughs> um, actually, I would just like to jump in with a correction, Ross. Eventually, all of them are. Mm, good point. That's very, uh, that's very deep. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, let's turn things over to the canvas and get things started, shall we? As before, our artists have a starting topic. We had TV finales. We had movie finales. And now we're getting real scholarly with those book finales. Book finales. You know, all those books that you remember how they ended. Remember reading, guys? We're going to see if you do. Uh, so, Marty, anything we want to cover before we get things started? 20 minutes on the clock. Red Aaron on the left in red. Shoujo, a go-go in black. 
and we're going to check in with each artist as we do every single time. Red Aaron, are you ready? You're on mute. <laughs> Still on mute. All right, we're just uh, going to roll ready. on. Shoujo Coco, are you straight. ready? Is this thing on? Yes. I'm ready. Okay, Great. here we go. Three, two, one. Art fight. All right, now Marty's on mute, so I'm the only one left. Uh, okay, so here on the canvas book finales in black, working on the right, we have Shoujo A Go Go. Mm -hmm. On the left-hand side, Red Aaron working, coincidentally, in red. Uh, so we will see what their book finales are. So far, all we know is whatever Shoujo's book finale is, she's not happy about it. Uh, mm -hmm. While meanwhile, on Some the left-hand side... serious, serious rage over there on the right-hand side. By comparison, things are pretty chilled out and smug over there on the left-hand side. Yeah, I assume that's a young adult novel on the left, just by the chill, cool smugness of it all. But we'll oh, see. Oh, I, I, think, I, I, I think that is not just any type of novel, uh, dear Rossifer. Oh, that's a graphic it, novel. That is a graphic novel. And uh, that that has some serious Jeremy Iron, Irons vibes over there on the left-hand side. Yeah, I believe that we're getting uh, Ozymandias from the end of uh, the graphic novel Watchmen, which mm -hmm. if you haven't seen slash actually don't watch the movie but if you haven't read the book go do that yeah. then watch the rest of this art fight yeah yeah also watch the hbo show it's really really good yeah it's really good but you can watch the art fight before watching the hbo show just so yeah, you know yeah 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 uh, uh, so in the in, in, in the catonical order of watchmen yeah read watchmen yes then watch, watch this art us fight. yep then watch the hbo series yeah um, and as Red Aaron is telling you from here on the canvas, uh, which I assume you already know because you just went and read it, uh, 35 minutes ago, apparently yeah. a pizza was ordered and it has not yet arrived is the only thing I can assume that is about. Uh, well, meanwhile, that appears right to be Red side. Aaron down there in the lower right hand side and things are not going well for her. Yeah, I've never eating... seen her vom like this. Yeah. Is she, is she eating a baby? Oh, 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 this is, is this the end of Goldilocks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she, you she know, has gorged herself on oatmeal and is about to feel the wrath of some angry bears. I don't know if I'd call that the, the finale, though. I mean, that's kind of the middle, right? Oh, no, the finale's coming up. You see, you have to have a beginning before there's an end. Yeah, I see. We're getting we're, we're there's some staging, uh, you know, two interesting takes on book finales, because we've got one graphic novel and one, um, you know, fairy tale children's book, uh, tale as old as time, kind of Grimm's fairy tale story. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I thought we were going to get at least one John Grisham up here, but no. <laughs> oh, well, Ross, if you could, please, uh, for the fine people at home. Illuminate us onto your favorite John Grisham novel ending. Uh, well, the jury comes back and they're like, guilty. And then the crowd goes wild and huh. the lawyer's like, oh, I'm glad. But also, uh, was it worth everything we went through and all the, the principles we had to sacrifice in order to make this happen? But then like the mother is like, oh, you avenged my daughter. Thank you. And then, you know, uh, uh, his bosses want to promote him, but he doesn't want to be promoted because he doesn't and, feel like And what was, it, what was the name of this book again, Ross? Uh, Trial by Jury. <laughs> I love that one. Uh, the movie version, that, that's how I'm familiar with the story. The movie version with mm -hmm. Matthew McConaughey and Samuel L. Jackson. Very good. Yeah. Yeah. It's fantastic stuff. Yes. Uh, screenplay by Darren Sorkin, actually. Yeah, yeah. Just some whip smart dialogue with one minute and change until the first spinning of the wheel of death looks like we're getting the interdimensional squid over yes as the interdimensional interdimensional squid with two mustaches one yes. on top of the Dos other mustachios sorry I, I had to mute myself as i sneezed that's that's a super art fight show first i've never sneezed during a show before <laughs> <laughs> uh, way, way to have the mute button real handy. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so now we're getting one of the three bears over there on the top left. 
Uh, while meanwhile, in the bottom right, poor <laughs> blood Red coming out of the ears and eyes. This is what you get when you eat porridge that's too hot and too cold. And too I, I, I think it has to has to do with the uh, weird psychic squid. I think that's actually what, what, what's going on here. Uh, over here uh, on the I right buy either side. one. But a gigantic honestly. bear is coming in, and we've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. First spin of the bout. Respins available for both artists. Teen Yoda goes to Red Aaron. And Shoujo Agogo gets Charles Peppermint Barkley. <laughs> Charles Peppermint Barkley. He's both a holiday treat and a basketball player. Uh, Red Aaron, would you like a respin on Team Yoda? Sorry, I finally unmuted myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Keeping Teen Yoda. Of course, Teen Yoda's real name, Gogurt. Uh, and Shoujo yeah, Agogo. Yeah. Uh, would you like a respin on Charles Peppermint Barkley? Yeah. All right, keeping CPB over there on the right hand side. Charles Peppermint Barkley uh, just keeps pulling the football away before poor Charlie Brown can get to it. <laughs> that that was that was Lucy. That doesn't even make sense. That had nothing to do with anything. That had nothing to Charles- do with absolutely anything. Charles Peppermint Barkley sounds like I, I kept trying a- to, to 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 connect it to uh, Charles Barkley and Godzilla. Remember that? That was a well, thing. I, I I do remember that. Uh, what I was going to get at is uh, Charles Peppermint Barkley sounds like he's a 1920s banker, uh, or that he plays for the uh, <laughs> the Harlem Globetrotters and True? Peppermint's his fun nickname. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> you can just hear it. You can just hear sweet Georgia Brown playing as they're announcing him onto the field. Charles Peppermint Buckley. Yeah, yeah. And it uh, looks anyway. like what started as one of the three bears now being turned into Teen Yoda as he is getting the nice emo comb over. Over there on the left-hand side. Very, well, very Well, meanwhile, nice. on the right-hand side, we're getting Peppermint Barkley there in the top right. He's yeah! He's ready to help solve a mystery and dribble a basketball. Uh, I, I absolutely love it. It's fantastic. Uh, one thing I will say, that emo haircut, I'm just going to throw this out here for the fine folks watching at home. There's someone in the Super Art Fight roster who had that haircut, and their name rhymes with Schmarm Schmitty Schmitmomi. And uh, we're going to go ahead and now check in with Ref Adam. Ref Adam on Safcopter 3, the Luminosity. You with us, Ref Adam? Hello, Marty Ross, uh, Art Fighters, and chat as well. It is me once again, Ref Adam, checking in on the Safcopter 3, the Luminosity, on the shores of Baltimore Harbor. Uh, uh, Marty Ross, I haven't seen the chat this hype since some of our opening nights. Many discussions abound in the chat about favorite books and favorite snacks, as as will happen when Shoujo is on the canvas. It is is quite apt. But, I mean, we're we're talking about Jolly Ranchers, Wawa Soft Pretzels, Oddly Specific Airheads, Gorbis Gorbis Bites. Everyone knows Gorbis Gorbis Bites. Everyone loves Gorbis Gorbis Bites. They might as well be a national treasure. Uh, but I just wanted to take a second and thank everyone once again uh, by name who has who has stopped uh, stopped through tonight. So we have our follows at, at night for Spirits, Ubertino89, our subs, uh, Miranda for seven months, our, our uh, Chojo for seven months. We have a uh, nib for two months and gifted a sub amongst the chatters. Thank you so much. Computers are scattered me five months. Dumpling Owl, Corchester for six, Toe the Line for six, Mad Doc Froggy for one, the foul one for eight. It's just, oh my God, there's there's so many. I Again, thank you all so, so very much. The Discord link is getting perforated within the chat. Please click that at your leisure and uh, join us in the Discord. We love you all. We will see you there. Enjoy the rest of the bout. Have a fantastic night. Happy holidays. I love you all. Ref Adam out. Stay wet, Baltimore. Thank you, Ref Adam. As always, 
And while uh, he was breaking down the number of, of subs, thank you so much. We're, we're, we're truly touched and honored. Uh, some incredible artwork has come out of the canvas. A second Team Yoda and the most adorable Godzilla ready to take it to the hole. Put me in, coach. Rawr. Very, very nice. 16 seconds until the next spinning of the wheel of death. No respins have been used so far. And we are at five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Two brand new topics coming in. We've got what's in the box for Red Aaron and what not to wear for Shoujo a go go. Red I Aaron we covered this in the last bout. We we did touch on that. Red Aaron, would you like what's in the box? Or would you like a respin? I'm gonna respin. Respinning on what's in the box. Shoujo keeping what not to wear. Or would you like that respin? Gonna keep it. Keep it. Okay, gonna go ahead and keep it. We tossed Big away what's in Clinton. the box. And Apparently. where Care Bear went to Red Aaron with the respin. Where Care Bear? Uh, yeah. So, where Care Bear? It, it does just look like were Care Bear, as in <laughs> yes. there used to be Care Bears. Yeah. It, Not so much tense. anymore. It's a past tense, where Care Bear. Uh, and uh, we, we've got uh, that, that Teen Yoda is checking out Galaxy TikTok. Horrific. Horrific is that idea. I, I don't need space TikTok. Current TikTok is bad. Don't need space TikTok. Uh, also uh, on the canvas, uh, what started as uh, Ozymane Diaz over there on the left-hand side, now being turned into a Care Bear, complete with a Care Bear stare. Yeah. It's happening right there on the so left-hand So far, side. it just looks like he's got like a, like a Snapchat filter on. And, it's, and while he's making a, a speech to the entire world he also is looking cute and adorable yeah and something worth noting we've got that final spin coming at the five minute mark shoujo go go still has a respin available in this our main event look at how much space is open at the eight minute mark versus even the first two bouts i, I was gonna say you know you talk about uh baron von sexy fool and stevie speed a lot of space was filled up very early in that but same thing could be said for titanium and two drink alex you have two artists right here in Shoujo Agogo and Red Aaron who are playing the long game. They want their artwork to pop. They want it to stand out. And when that final spin comes up at the five minute mark, they want to be able to strike. They want to have an open space where the artwork can breathe. So we will uh, see who gains the advantage. I think it comes down to the topic and the execution. Yes, you can argue that's how all super art fights work, but really that is at the end of the day, what separates the good art fighters from the great ones. And you are truly seeing two of the greats colliding in this finale. Yeah. So here on the canvas, a lot of work being done to poor team Yoda down there in the bottom. Yeah. Uh, it lives, dies, uh, boot on the head, uh, X's over the eyes, wearing fur uh, on Galaxy. Don't wear real fur. Yeah, I mean, arguably, Baby Yoda is real fur. He might be wearing Yoda fur, or whatever their species is going to be named. Uh, green, 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 green old dudes. <laughs> green olds? Green olds. That, yeah. as they're known <laughs> green olds <laughs> you know i'm really not over this charles peppermint barkley alien drawing in the top right uh, uh, the, uh, the, the something about the, the giant brain cane. oh i was gonna say yeah, the, the inclusion can of the candy cane makes it looks like he's gonna do a little bit of soft shoe up there in the top right the candy cane's great but the brain just now reads like an afro and that's kind of amazing and I just want to give credit to the fine folks in the chat for shouting out Yaddle. What up, Yaddle? Big Yaddle right here. Uh, yeah. I, what, is, what's a Yaddle? Uh, Yaddle was a fellow member of the Jedi Council, which was basically female Yoda. That's uh, yes. baby Yoda. Yes. Thank you very Yaddle. much. And there's also a cursed photo on the internet with Yaddle that uh, I'm not going to share with you. But just type in, you know what, cursed Yaddle, and I'm sure it'll pop up. Have fun I with that. I don't want to people at home five minutes 45 seconds remaining in this main event of the evening 
So we're getting plenty of what not to wear. Obviously, boot on the head seems like an obvious case. Uh, tiny diaper pants, I guess, also what not to wear. Yep. Um, yep. Little tiny yeah, diaper some... pants. Don't recommend wearing them. Yeah, unless you are, in fact, a baby. Not recommended. Uh, meanwhile, our wear Care Bears, obviously, down there at the bottom. Uh, and uh, bear things just everywhere. I... Godzilla's a bear, Marty. Thoughts? Godzilla as a bear? Um, yeah. I didn't know they made flannel shirts in that size. <laughs> I get it. And five minute mark, final spin of the wheel. Let's go ahead and do this. Two brand new topics. Red Aaron, you get to make it hairy. Good Lord. And Shoujo oh, there's that bear again. Gets it came from the deep. Are you going to keep it came from the deep or would you like the respin? Shoujo a go go. I think I want the respin. I'm taking combo the this. respin, taking the respin. Four minutes and 30 seconds. Dairy delights is what you get. That. Make it hairy versus dairy delights. Two great tastes that would not taste great together. Court Jester in the chat throwing out appropriately to make it hairy. Just throw out a lot of Robin Williams here. A lot. Yeah, we can just get some Robin Williams forearms and we're good. Mm -hmm. Yes, the man. Four minutes, four the man seconds had a coach. remaining in this main event. And uh, I, 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 I got to say, both artists have really upped their game in this bout. Clean, clear wonderfully illustrated little bits all over this canvas you couldn't ask for more for from a finale here at super art fight uh i i do kind of wonder is that well there's too much of a face i was gonna say is that uh mortimer the big red hairy thing from uh looney tunes but the the I face tells me it may gossamer. Not be. oh was, gossamer yes thank you i was in the middle of drawing a wear care bear as, as the topic change so yes you are on the right track marty okay okay thank you thank you thank you both red aaron I, and shoujo i Go thought Go his name was hair e monster no <laughs> it, it, it might be it might maybe be. i'm thinking of something else I, three minutes five seconds remaining in your main event the vote will once again go to you fine folks at home i ask you so kindly even though we had the fun in the main event, please let us not have a tie. We want a definitive victor here. Shoujo Agogo, is she going to end this season without a single loss under her belt? Or will Red Erin get herself redemption here live tonight on Twitch? We're going to find out in just two and a half minutes. Ross, I think it's anybody's game. I, I definitely agree, Marty. I mean, I'm looking at this Dairy Delights coming together from Shoujo Gogo, and uh, it's just utterly all over the place. It also well, came from the deep. It's a Cthulhu cow or a Cowthulhu. A Cowthulhu oh. there in the top left corner. Uh, while meanwhile, I mean, Aaron's gotten in some good licks here. We've got uh, our hairy monster, whatever its name may be, the Ozymandias, which... I mean, let's be honest, our fans are a bunch of nerds, so that might definitely have a good chance of sticking. <laughs> uh, and and I, I already see some people asking in the chat, we do not yet know the ASL for Cthulhu, but that is a great thing to find out. Uh, at a I mean, show. this is Thulu, so yeah, we, we just know need that cow. We, we got half of it. We just I mean, need cow in the front. I got to think, uh, we can figure this out. I feel like we could reverse One minute, 35 seconds. Up. Someone get Aaron or Aaron on the line. And I don't mean this Aaron. I mean the other Aaron or Aaron. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I think this is anyone's game, Marty. And, uh, you know, the, the, the fans, they love to goof around. They love a good tie. But I think at the end of the day, they speak for all America. And they know what America wants and what America needs. Well, if I learned anything, maybe we shouldn't necessarily allow everyone the opportunity to vote. <laughs> One minute remaining in this main event. Shoujo a go go. Red Aaron, two super hard fight grades colliding in this main event. And you will get to pick the victor. Uh, yeah, you know, Marty, <laughs> for whatever reason, 
I, I I just can't get the song from Dunkachino stuck in my head out of my head. Yeah. It's just playing as we're trying to wrap up this last bout. And I know this is like the most exciting art fight action we've had all season. It's anyone's game. Every inch of this canvas is getting full. And in my head it's just Dunkachino. <laughs> Twenty seconds to go. Hopefully Ross gets that airworm out of his head as we go to this, the closing stretch. This is what separates the top from the bottom. This is when the cream rises to the top, ladies and gentlemen. We are at seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Caps on markers. That is an art fight. Wow. An incredible canvas. Wonderful work by both artists. But the vote is going to be yours, dear Twitch chatters. You're going to see it pop up right above the chat. The poll it is now live. The countdown has begun. Only one can win. Red Aaron, Shoujo Gogo. I'm going to check in first with Red Aaron. Red Aaron, an incredible contest here. You got the ball rolling with Ozyman Diaz. What was your favorite thing to illustrate here tonight? Um, so I really appreciated the opportunity to draw those starting topics in a little bit of like a TV cutesy style. So the <laughs> just like psychic squid that just wants to like be friends is really uh, making me happy. It, it, the... uh, it does have double mustaches, right? They're they're kind of like tentacle stashes. Why not? I I like it. I like the tentacle stashes. Uh, to that same degree, was was there anything, Red Aaron, that proved to be a particular challenge? We saw you toss away what's in the box. I understand you don't want to go where the belt before you went, but was there anything that led to a specific challenge for you? Maybe you found a moment where you were going to start drawing in one direction and found yourself cut off by Shoujo. What 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 proved to be difficult here tonight? Um, there, I mean, in some ways it was like kind of a synergy to get make it hairy, but I felt like there was already a lot of hairy things on the canvas so just like mm -hmm. distinguishing what was being drawn during that time than during earlier but um <laughs> no i really love the combo of what shoujo put together here with what i put together it's making me laugh nice nice well on the other side of the canvas was shoujo go go and with her now is my boy ross ross yeah <sighs> shoujo an amazing bout uh of definite hectic energy in the air uh you got you started strong you kept it going you kept the pressure on all 20 minutes long uh how do you feel it went for you gotta tell you since i joined art fight um i've been waiting for the chance to stand across the stage from my senpai red aaron um for a title and uh this was everything i dreamed it would be Truly. Okay. All right. And, and you know, you, you got in a lot of goofy drawings. You got udders, you got butts, you got bears, uh, and everything in between. Uh, any, any favorites that stick out to you? Um, in the top center, the twerking baron in cow print, I think is always good. Um, I really love that Godzilla. Yeah, um, I thought it was Baron dressed as Woody the cowboy for a second there. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. All right. Well, uh, thank you both so much for an amazing bout. Uh, I believe the surveys, uh, the poll is just finishing up. Uh, so we are getting ready to introduce the winner of our first full season of Super Art Fight Action. Our first round robin tournament, six weeks in the making. The, the, the tension is palpable. Marty, can you feel it? I, I can feel it. We got to find out who won it. Producer Steve. Dunkachino! Sorry, I mean, let's Red Aaron find the takes answer. the victory! Red Aaron wins! Beating Shoujo Agogo in the finals of the first Super Art Fight Round Robin Tournament. She dominated, 
in the never-ending offseason. Had a bit of a struggle in this round-robin tournament, but Red Aaron turns it up in the end to take the victory. Red Aaron, how are you feeling? Congratulations. You know, somehow even though the bat is over, I'm still really nervous. <laughs> but I, it was, Shoujo, it was an honor to have gone up against you. Those bouts are always incredibly, amazingly fun. Uh, my head is palpitating. But I'm just very honored. Thanks for everybody in the chat. Uh, but before before we, we check in with your opponent here, do you have anything you'd like to plug, Red Aaron, before we let you go? Oh, well, maybe where I um, have my art. You can find that uh, generally on a weekly basis at twitch.tv slash super I certainly hope they know how to get there. All right, with uh, the, the second place uh, competitor in this round robin tournament, final standings four and one. Let's turn it over to Ross with Shoujo. Ross. Shoujo, so close in the polls, so close. Coming out with the best record of the season, four and one. Uh, uh, how how you doing? Just how, how you doing? And I got to tell you, it's 2020 and I have no idea. <laughs> I, um, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little disappointed, um, but uh, it was a good time and it was still a great match. And this season has been amazing. <laughs> so I guess I can't really be mad about anything. <laughs> Well, you're missing out on that $20 gift certificate to Applebee's. But other than that, I mean, I think your record speaks for itself. And I think, you know, we, we all know we all know how that is. Uh, but I mean, where where can people find you? Where where are you when you're not here? Well, um, you know, I I do drawing Mondays and Wednesdays on Twitch.tv slash Shoujo with GoGo. And I play Grim Fandango right now. But um, I just wanted to say, you know, 2020 is okay so 2016 was like a dumpster fire right and 2020 has been a flaming garbage volcano and i realized that there's only a few weeks left so joy is a radical act go do something that brings you or somebody else joy and give 2020 the middle finger go pet a dog call a loved one buy somebody a meal um have a cup of tea meditate do something that brings you or someone else joy goodbye 2020 we're not gonna miss you <laughs> and what are you gonna be doing as a radical act of joy I'm gonna go to sleep fantastic <laughs> nothing says joy like taking a nap uh i guess at this hour they just call it sleeping uh okay well thank you so much shoujo an amazing bout uh by both artists marty we've done it once again yes we have uh a full season uh now coming to a close we have a final standings graphic uh thanks to the production team uh, if we could bring that up right now yep uh, redemption in the hands of red air and you see right there ending three and two shoujo go go better record but losing in the finale four and one in third place we've got bunny and of course the tied losers in team sex drive and apparently the graphics department not on board with our everyone loses plan <laughs> <laughs> no real surprise there uh but but folks honestly uh you know to, to sort of echo what, what Shoujo Go Go was saying there, 2020 has been uh, an absolute mess. And, um, you know, we, we've we uh, we've had to find the joy in everything we can do. And I, I think, think I speak for, for everyone uh, in front of the camera and behind the camera at Super Art Fight. <clears throat> Excuse me. When I say that one of the true joys of this year has been doing this very stream when we started the never ending off season we thought hey it's going to be a fun silly thing just to keep us loose and limber until we can do live events again um clearly <laughs> there's a there's there's a a longer road back to the live stage than uh we all uh were hoping for and and we all thought um but you know we've moved to this online season format which 
uh, at least the way we're talking right now, when we can go and be in front of people again, we're going to try to still come back here on Saturday nights and, and do some fun stuff. We've got, of course, the holiday show coming up on the 19th, where we're all really excited to to show some different angles with artists you know and love. New personas, new, new opportunities, uh, a, a new lease on life. But, uh, you know, Ross... I think I'd be remiss if we didn't tell people one more thing. Oh, yeah. We got one more thing. Uh, Apple keynote style. Yeah. Producer Steve, if you please. Oh, oh, my God. I'm so sorry. I don't know how that got there. Hang on a sec. Let me. Oh, my God. Hang, guys, I'm so sorry. Give... <laughs> well, we did it. We did it. We did one more thing. I have no complaints. We got, Why we is got that one, not everywhere? We, we've, we've got one more, one more thing. Hey! That's right. January 30th, 2021, Super Art Fight Online Season 2, right here on Twitch. We're coming back at you, folks. You knew we weren't going to be gone long. January 30th, right here on the calendar. Get ready. It's going to be a whole new season. We're going longer. We're going wider. We got more happening. We can't wait to see you in the new year. Farewell 2020. We'll see you in two weeks for a holiday show. For producer Steve, for ref Adam, for all of our amazing artists, whether they were on the show this week or not, this week, of course, Baron Von Sexy, Full Stevie Speed, Titanium, Two Drink Alex, Jojo A Go-Go, Red Aaron. We thank you all so, so much for being a part part of this we thank you to the artists who aren't on this show tonight uh wisteria uh, uh, uh fighting fanboy mike donahue brave royale uh, uh periwinkle uh just an, an incredible assortment of talent we have some of the coolest bunny. and uh, bunny now i'm just looking through uh, my notes we, making sure we don't miss anyone yes vivian shamwood periwinkle yes. i forget who yes. you already named so i'd rather name someone twice than that at all uh i think we're good now yes uh nevertheless folks this has been an absolute fun ride and we're just gonna keep on doing more crazy and wild things join the discord in the meantime we'll be on there uh as often as you're on there folks um please pop in say hi uh join us in two weeks for the holiday show but uh again thank you so much for for being a part of this thank you so much for uh letting us uh enter your lives on a se somewhat weekly basis uh we we never knew that that so many people cared and, and seeing regular faces in the chat really uh uh, hey, brightens um, our smile. Hey Marty, if I may butt in, producer Steve yeah. here again. I just want to give a big shout out to uh, to Charm City Shinobi, who you did forget to, to shout out. Uh, he's also the one who put together all the awesome motion graphics and transitions for the uh, for the stream. So huge shout out to Dan. He's awesome. Uh, I remembered him, even if some people did not. <laughs> Thank you, producer oh, Steve. As always, this, you remind me of other Steve. Plan out the things roster. we need to think. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, I. I I do want to just say, uh, like, you know, gang, this has been a crazy year. It's been crazy for all of us. There's been so many uh, downs. I know you normally say ups and downs, but there's been just a lot of downs. But uh, doing Art Fight, seeing, seeing you all doing this version of Art Fight has been really one of the high points and has kept me sane in so many ways and has been basically what passes for social interaction for me for the last eight months and i very much appreciate all of you being here uh and all all of us behind the scenes who have made this happen so thank you all so 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 much and we will see you at the show in two weeks and then next season yep mark it on the calendar december 19th january 30th have a great holiday have a great new year and we'll see y'all real soon so until next time for all of us here at Super Art Fight, I've been Marty Day. Get the hell off the internet. <laughs>